We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the MFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was, it was seven when he was tackled and, and it froze before it hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one owns ass up. Let's play some football. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot dog. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. They all have. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. The defense falls for that trick all the time. <laughs> oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Third down and forever. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Jimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murmur. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zapter, they never bothered her again. So, yeah. First and ten. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's 
first and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. 
And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Man, it's all being snags. He got his left car and died. Just... Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> They're back up here on first down. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down in a mile. run for five yards third down and the QB is saying his prayers Cleared the field for the receiver. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! First, nicely done. First down and three. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second and three. Looks like a pass. It's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's Blake Briggs. Straight through the uprights. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this?
If they don't pick it up here, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref, they say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid's sister, and she doesn't have legs. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Covered well. That's a three yard gain on that pass. Third down and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And I think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. It looks like the lineman wanted to get the ball a high five. Then he did, Bricks. Then he did. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two. The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First down. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked down? What do you do then? Run. This guy's a brick shit house.
it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. <laughs> Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home. Buried in the dirt. <laughs> And this is a first and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and never going to happen. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. His eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. Second down in a very lot. Uh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Hey, okay, go, man. I can't. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Marvin, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Third 
third down and the punter is warming up. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch. And it if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, it's a punishing hit. Third down and long. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Dunya, was that you? Hey, follow me. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and three. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And they'll line up for the punt here. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Whenever the offense is pretty much unstoppable when he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one.
for the extra point. right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Third and two. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Looks, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. Oh, I love this dirty trip. Oh, welcome to Bumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On account of not clenching his cheeks. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. and downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, with the brutal hit. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. That's probably a smart idea. It's good.
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. The Snuffle Frill to another home turf and snuff out the opposition. Those guys are dead, dead, dead. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, they tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...